Well, like I said, I was going to start doing these on a Saturday for a little while. So here it is. Here's the catch up. And my word, does this look so much different now. You can see a lot further down there now. Way further. There's a lot of space in there now. Which, for all the work that's been going on in here, that is a lot. I saw that anyone says, I forgot to do the intro. Morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And let's see if I can give you a bit of a view of what's gone on in here. So a lot of that has now come down and they are making headway all the way into that side now. So it won't be long until they're making their way all the way through there towards where the clock tower is and stopping where the tower is. So we've got a bit of a quiet moment I think at the moment. Someone's dropping some rubble off by the looks and sounds of that. So we've got a mound of rubble over here. It's quite a, quite a lot. All the way over there and you can see where right on the upper floor the old Argos and everything was up there and you know all, to, all the way to where some of the other stuff from where the uh, old Morrison's or food shop or whatever was there and everything. So there's not a lot left over here to look at which is amazing for the amount of stuff that's gone on on here but let's have a quick sneaky peek if I can kind of like through this gap or whatever of where uh, the rest of the stuff is. Ooh, we have a concrete footer. We have a concrete footer. Hi. Right, what is this bit of stuff here? Um, let's pause this a second. It seems like Tony might have mentioned something about this, so I'm not quite sure, but looks like there's a little bit like, oh, almost like a footer for plant, possibly like a plant room or it could be kind of like um, set for like the bottom end of a staircase or something just going off of little things that I can think of but I'm not sure because I haven't seen the plans so um, you never know sometimes it's always nice meeting people as well so uh, if you see yourself on the video thank you but for what was supposed to be a, a car park that never happened uh, it's just becoming another building zone. There's a lot of other stuff going on around here. We've got the truck that just dropped off the stones which were over there, which I'll uh, have a quick walk up there and then you can have a look. Yeah, I had a little shop at Primark before I came down because I got dropped off on that side, so a little bit easier sometimes, but give you a quick zoomy zoomy in on that lot. I've got a gentle zoom you in. So there's the stones by the cat tracks of that big machine. Let's have a see if I can spot anything else over here. Oh, one long reach is having a rest. So we've got a long reach over there having a rest. Zoom, zoom. It's quite quiet over here at the moment. Not much going on. So I will stick you all on pause. Well, it looks like we've got some more trenches appearing, which is uh, somewhat new anyway on the outside of this. So it looks more like all the like water, gas, like and stuff, sewers, whatever that is, has all been found, dug up. Don't think some of it might be like signalling cables for like, light posts and stuff and all of that lot, but. When you see these trenches like this, it shows you how much work you have to do to plan it out and where all of the cables and pipes and everything have all been routed. Even on like the edgings of where a path would go as well. Just shows you sometimes how much space something that you take for granted actually takes up, which how close that is to the side of that says a lot. I don't know, maybe there is some more junk falling out of that hole or not, I don't know. Let's have a quick look 
see if I can uh, get another angle. Ooh, another big hole. Well, holes, moles and holes. Yep. Uh, it's a good angle there. Yep. But you ain't getting they're not far away from starting to pull all the way through this lot, so uh, this is going to be uh, something anyway. Yep. Wow. Anyway. Another shot, pause. This is looking stranger and stranger every time I come down. More of it's been munched out. I'll give you a quick zoomy zoom on that. That roof is looking very precarious and it won't be long till that's down. And that wall, whoo, that'll only take a few munches. Anyone that was asking before, I highly doubt that there is any of that aero concrete crap in it. And it looks like it's all that proper solid made, full of rebar. So, it takes some work to get it down, but once it comes down, it comes down. Because it's solidly built, so bringing it down makes a heck of a racket. And as you can see with all the dust that has been going on in the priors, there's so much dust sometimes. Right here and there, and there's practically one square or one block left of the parking structure holding on. And you can see just the edge of the clock over there. Man, this is uh, going to be very interesting, and it's coming down at some rate. See if I can get up to the other side and give it a bit of a, a thing. Anyway, I know Tony's probably said it, but what's all your thinkings and feelings on the old B bus and everything? Because it's all a bit mad. For those of you that didn't catch the catch up that I did after I posted the last video, um, the reason why I'm now on Saturdays is because I am doing a um, web, like call it like a web or like game development or whatever. I'm learning how to code for games and websites and uh, cyber security and stuff. So I've got other priorities during the week and I can't get down after that because my head is absolutely boxed in. So I'm doing it on a Saturday and or a Sunday whenever I can get a chance to come down. So, as you can see, from this angle, there's quite a bit that's gone on. It's quite eerie when it's quiet, because easily you can hear like the clanking of some of the, the tracks and some of the munchings going on, and even just the whirring and the spraying of the water cannons and fans and things. But this is uh, becoming more and more what was. I'll give you an angle from over here if I can possibly get another one. Yes. This is definitely different. Anyway, pause. And we will finish off over here. I can't really see much has happened over here, same with all of that. I think there may be one or two other little bits of possible markings and scaff ends on there, but I can't really see much more. And it's about, what, quarter past, 20 past 11 on Saturday on a match day. So, Latics are at home. It's quite quiet at the moment, but it will start getting a little bit busier through here because it has done in the past anyway uh, yeah I know. my hair is a bit scratchy because for some weird reason it's not staying in there uh, anything but whatever anyway so what's your feelings and series on that what hotel change you reckon they're going to take over if that actually ever gets built which um, cinema chain is going to take over again if that actually gets built would you rather that they uh, utilise 
the cinema building which is already there down at Robin Park uh, which personally I would rather that they utilize that first um, just because well it's ready built so that's going to be a money saver the other reason why that one went under was because the entire company that ran it went under so there's that uh, basically has for like you know cafes and uh, eateries and stuff basically like you know if we could get like the, you know like possibly like an outback or you know like a steakhouse or kind of like you know even I know some people are probably going to say I'm going far to America but more get a Wendy's get a Wendy's be one of the only places in the north to have a Wendy's at the moment Wendy's is all down south and everywhere is going for um, five guys which I want to break the mold don't go for a five guys get a five guys after this but get something like a Wendy's or maybe an apple beer an IHOP or you know Cracker Barrel or you know Waffle House go something different you know even if what if maybe even if we get a Bucky's that would be something special <laughs> but the only place in Britain to have a Bucky's and I'm not talking about bookmakers I mean bookies as in you know the interstate highway place where everyone goes in Texas yeah maybe that or maybe even like Texas Road Steakhouse or something you know just do something like that instead make it something different anyway I'll sign out on this one so have a great day wherever you are don't get stressed life is only what you put in it I will see you star side peace goodbye